Now we'll talk about multiplying binomials that contain radicals. And you know how to multiply binomials. Remember we did problems like this, x plus 3 times x plus 5. And the method we used was called the FOIL method. And you multiply the first two terms, x times x gives you x squared. The outer two terms gives us a 5x. The inner two terms give us a 3x and then the last two terms in this case give us a 15 and that's what FOIL stands for first outer inner last and in this case not in every case but in this case two of the terms can be combined and we get x squared plus plus 8x plus 15 for our simplified answer that technique of FOIL will still work even if the binomials that we're multiplying contain radicals so take a look at this example there's two binomials, 4 plus the square root of 7, multiplied by 6 plus the square root of 5. Well, we can just do the FOIL operation here, too. The first terms are 6 and 4. 6 times 4 gives me 24. The outer two terms is a 4 times the square root of 5. So I say plus 4 times the square root of 5. And then the inner two terms gives me a 6 times the square root of 7 and the last two terms square root of 7 times square root of 5 gives me a square root of 35 now in this case the the terms don't combine I, I can't simplify by combining any like terms so this is the answer I'm done at that point sometimes though, though the results do simplify like look at this next example 5 plus the square root of 8 times 4 plus the square root of 2 Let's do a FOIL operation here and watch what we get. 5 times 4 is 20. And then for my outer two terms, I have 5 times the square root of 2. And the inner two terms are 4 times the square root of 8. And the last two terms, I have the square root of 8 times the square root of 2, which is the square root of 16. Now, some of these things can simplify. Let's rewrite this. I'll keep the 20. I'll keep the 5 root 2. But this square root of 8, remember that 8 is 4 times 2. So if I think of that 8 right there as 4 times 2, the 4 under the radical can pop out front as a 2. And I'll be left with this 4 here times the 2 that I get when I square root that 4 times the square root of 2 when this 2 is still left under the radical. This 4 comes out and gets square rooted and the other 2 remains. And then this last term here is easy. The square root of 16 is 4. So you can see I have 20 plus 5 root 2 plus 8 root 2 plus 4. And so these are both like radicals. They're both square root of two terms, so they can be combined. And I end up with 20, and 5 plus 8 is 13. So 20 plus 13 times the square root of 2 plus 4. Oh, and of course, the 20 and the 4 can be combined. So let's write our final answer as 24 plus 13 times the square root of 2. So that one simplifies nicely. Sometimes they simplify and sometimes they don't. And a standard practice is to simplify things when you can. So simplify your answers, as always, just according to the rules of radicals and the rules of combining like terms. Let's look at one more example here. 3 times the square root of 2 minus 4 times the square root of 5 squared. Well, for something to be squared, that means it's multiplied by itself. So if you want to do a FOIL, and, and you might be able to do this in your head without writing it out, but you're at least going to think like this. 3 root 2 minus 4 root 5 times 3 root 2 minus 4 root 5. That's just this thing squared. It's multiplied by itself. So now we'll work out the FOIL. The first two terms there I have a 3 times 3 gives me a 9 and then the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 gives me a square root of 4 and I know the square root of 4 is just 2 so I'll write it that way then my outer two terms 
I have 4 times 3, which is a 12. And then the square root of 2 times the square root of 5 is the square root of 10. And then my inner two terms. Oh, and before I do the inner two terms, um, I have a mistake here. You might have caught this. When I'm multiplying my outer two terms, look at this. This is 3 root 2 times negative 4 square root of 5. This should be a negative sign right there. So let's fix that. Okay, so that's my first, my outer, and then I'll get a term for my inner two terms. I have negative 4 square root of 5 times 3 root 2. So that gives me another negative, and 4 times 3 is 12, and square root of 5 times square root of 2 is square root of 10. And then my last two terms, I have a, a negative term times a negative term, which will give me a positive term. And the 4 times 4 is 16. And then the square root of 5 times the square root of 5 is 5. And these things will combine. 9 times 2 is 18. And then these two terms combine to give me a minus 24 times the square root of 10. And 16 times 5 is 80. And then, of course, the 18 and the 80 can combine. Those add up to 98. So I have 98 minus 24 times the square root of 10. And that's the answer. Now, in the next video, we'll talk about conjugates and how multiplying binomials with conjugates can be used to cause some things to simplify that wouldn't otherwise. So come back in the next video, and we'll take a look at that.